Guys, Tifa here with Fit Bully TV. This is how I feed raw. Now, we're about to get into it here in a second. If you're a pet achiever, you already know. For one, guys, you wanna like, subscribe, and share. I appreciate it. You're gonna try to guess at this thing. But if you're a part of our bigger program, you know that I don't guess at this thing. I'm not gonna tell you everything. I'm not gonna show you everything, but you'll get a good idea. And you'll see these full, complete, or for the most part, I'll say, complete meals when this is all said and done. Always make sure to use them juices, people. Look at that right there. You wanna know how I keep the dogs relatively hydrated? These are pork gutlets. One of my favorite things to mix, mix it up at times, consider the organ, and every dog. Look at that right there. He's gonna get one of these nasty things. This is gross. I'll be honest with you, that is gross. Beauty about it is, I got five dogs, and guess what? Even my baby gonna get one, meaning Hera. We gotta get her a bowl, I don't know where's the bowl at. I'll go get it here in a second. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. If you are, uh, don't like touching raw meat, these are some of my favorite gloves to use. Uh, just because, sometimes it just gets slimy, man. You touch a bunch of blood and guts. I'm okay with it if I'm being honest. It don't bother me none. But, uh, you know, every five seconds you kind of got to rinse your hands. And that can get a bit annoying to say the least. So, some of my favorite proteins, people, always lean meats. Why? Because I like a dog that can do some stuff. And it takes a lot of energy, objectively, to do what? A calorie, objectively, is when a... The body heats up. Oh, there it is right there. Where's it at? When the body heats itself up to burn something, right? So when you eat red meats, what do you think happens? <laughs> if I'm being honest, it stresses you out, pushes you to sleep. You ever eat a good, a good red meat dinner, you go to bed. Like you eat a bunch of like 64 ounce steak and potatoes. What normally happens? You pass out. You pass out. You like that. I can't wait to get to sleep. I'm tired as hell. And it's because that jump will suck the life out of you. Now, I've also done videos where I said, whatever you do, do not feed your dogs full chicken breast. I had some challenges with Bambaca. So I'm gonna get my knife. And what ended up happening was, the dogs, they see this right here and try to swallow it like a seal. Does it take a lot? No. So normally you can cut it into like you see here, just a couple of these halves. If you got a dog that, like Bam Bam, who's gonna go in, I would encourage you again to at least cut it up into four. So one, two, three. If it's a bigger breast, you'll cut it into fours, and that will suffice. Always make sure if you're out there doing your raw research, guys, make sure you got two proteins at least. We've got some ground beef here, our turkey. This technically, some of it's for the puppies, so I'm not gonna overdo it. <laughs> he said, how's this dude doing? Look, by now, I'll be honest with you, I know what these dogs need. I've been doing this for some time, and uh, I like to switch it up, but I know where they're at. And I used to be a chef, don't forget that. So, let's see here. Boom, boom, boom. Eagle's actually on a diet right now, so he don't need that much. Chicken bone, chicken leg. Trying is three chicken legs, two chicken legs. I've always tell people, say, oh, my dog's got skin problems. One of my favorite things is adding some omega-3s. Omega-3s, you can sardines. I go into way more detail on our pet achievers, people. One of the kid, our organs that your dog always needs, objectively in every meal, beef liver. We switched Tron to raw, and I tell you this, we've had a lot of success with him just in a week's time. Oh. <laughs> So I've been excited about his progress. Remember that you don't always just have to get vitamin A from one resource, but there's so much information in uh, good old beef liver. Now, Tron gave me quite a few miles a day. So for instance, this is his pail. He definitely gets his omega-3s today. He needs them. Cha-Cha, I think she did too. And Bam Bam did one. He was kind of being lazy, if I'm being honest. So I'll give him some of those and then put the others in here. I like when objectively, let's see here. I like mixing and matching my Omega 3s, but you got to be careful, especially if you're using mackerel. Ooh, ooh, that's what it was. 
So this is rabbit head, which could, which should be considered bone. So this right here is gonna take care of some time to chew on. Now she's getting gaming meat. And because this meat uh, keep some good shears in your in your thing. Hera's on some on a different path. I've got her. Ooh, oh that yak smell. He smelled different. I've got her on a different path. So she'll get a good portion of some yak. I'll get the rest of the yak to somebody else. That's her yak. Yakety yak. Don't call back. Tron will get some yak. Because Tron's the man we're working on right now. We really want to build him up. I'll top Eco off with just a little bit of yak. Get the rest of Tron. And then one of the things I would encourage you to do, I'm giving you this right here. Now again, in our pet achievers, you guys get all this stuff in great detail. Your B vitamins a lot of times, they're gonna come from your eggs. So, you can do like this to crack an egg too. <laughs> Simple. Now Bam Bam and Cha Cha will eat eggshells, so will, uh, so will uh, 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 Tron. Ego, you crack his egg, give it to him, and then you put his shell over here. Cha Cha, uh, uh, <laughs> Who's the dog? Hera. Lord, guys, I got so many dogs. I'm telling you right now, it is a struggle. She won't eat the eggshells. So, uh, again, I'll crack these eggs for her. Tron. Tron, he's been doing such a good job. I'm actually about to cut his way back. Let's see. These meals almost look complete, for being honest. Let me see. What else do I want to add to this? And when I say want to add, make sure that every meal has A, D, E and K, vitamins B and C are critical when you're trying to build your puppy up, your puppy up especially. So when I'm missing something, guess what I add? I add my famous, favorite puppy blocks. I'll tell you one thing, boy, I'm not opening a new container right now because these jokers, them dogs, when I say run through it, I mean run through it. Now these are rabbit heads. Oh, 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 oh. oh, rabbit. Be considered bone in a diet anytime there's hair. And literally funny, no pun intended. Anytime there's hair, uh, also food. Give her one. Then what it's gonna do is help express the anal glands and keep that gut, that gut clear. I'll give Ego a rabbit head. Tron's got a rabbit head. I'm gonna save some of these rabbit heads because they got two bones. They not, Cha-Cha and Bam Bam ain't doing the most right now. So you don't know what to do. I'm gonna add a little turkey to Hera's meal. She's she's getting a little a little gas uh, per se, meaning the good stuff. Unfortunately, I don't think I put no beef liver in there. She's the growing puppy, so I gotta make sure you get some beef liver. Another great source of vitamin A, people, is in your canned pumpkin. Now again, you guys are gonna presume that I'm giving a lot of juice away, and I assure you, I'm not. This is child's play compared to what I do as far as details go. You want to know how to keep your dog alive. You want to know how to reduce the risk of cancer. You want to know how to keep your dog living and not fighting, but enjoying the next day and forever days of their lives. <laughs> Good memory that show, Days of Our Lives. You want to literally learn about feeding your dog the good stuff. Remember this, when you look at the zoo, or if I said this on my story today, if ever you've gone to a feedery, AKA, hey, I want to go feed the llamas. I want to feed the lamb. I want to feed the whatchamacallit. Whatever the animals may be. Isn't it funny how it ain't no llama food? How it ain't no gorilla food? How it ain't no donkey food? <laughs> how it ain't no uh, ox food? What do you feed them? You feed them apples and and you get the, the, the other animals, the fruits and vegetables. And at the, at the zoo, y'all seen the Tiger King? Even though they was feeding them poor tigers leftover food that fell off a truck or old food, outdated, they still the tigers were even eating what? That's crazy. They wasn't eating cat food. They was eating raw food. The irony, right? Now that's interesting. But here we are with dogs and cats, and we feed our dogs and cats something called dog food that ain't even food. Cat food that ain't even food. And if we look at the predecessors, meaning they gave their ancestors objectively. 
how come the wolves don't eat wolf food? <laughs> I'm about to hopefully get a chance to go out to a wolf reserve. And I plan on shooting everything so you can see for yourself that the wolves are fed an appropriate, uh, uh, basically what Dr. Karen Becker says, a biologically appropriate diet so that they can continue to survive and thrive in habitats that have been created because some of them, like the black wolf, is going ex extinct. So, I will top their meals off with a few other of my concoctions tonight. And for the most part, that is what feeding time looks like. I've never actually done a feeding time on this channel for like the big dogs. I will show you them eating. And you want to know, I'm sure, hey, what is all in that? Remember, if you go to my dog tools, there's what? There are some feeding uh, guides so that you can uh, learn how to feed your dog objectively. And there's uh, so many more opportunities for you to educate yourself if you become a part of our pack. But for the most part, look at these meals. Show these meals, make sure they get a good sense of what's, you know, how these meals are looking. The dogs, as you can see, they live well, they eat well. I'm going to my manufacturer tomorrow, so I might go ahead and open the puppy blocks. I hate having to do it, I'm being honest with you guys. Ah, oh, God. Because it's like this. I want to use them at the right time, but... Dust. This one ain't been over. Look at that pretty thing, y'all. MyDogSubs.com for those that are trying to get puppy blocks. Remember, the building block for life is an amino. This has all the aminos that a puppy needs, plus manganese, which you can get from oysters. I didn't put any oysters in here. That helps do what? Metabolize protein. You've got papaya, which is going to assist in the digestion of some of this food. Some of the beef bone broth that I got over here. Ooh, you know what? It's like, ooh, I'm going to open right here, but they know what I thought. It's like Lou Whip. So, I've created <laughs> some uh, fun stuff. Look at those. And you know what this is? These are actually, I forgot I had these. Guys, I do so much in preparation for feeding time that I often forget. Uh oh. <clears throat> you know how would they say? It's just a dog. <laughs> no, I'm playing. If it was dirty, I wouldn't. But look at this right here. This right here is beef bone broth and a couple other things that I put in there frozen. So the dogs, they'll chew on this and enjoy themselves. And beef bone broth helps with the absorption of nutrients and so many other things. People, I'll tell you to do your research. Don't ask me a ton of questions. I don't reply anymore to messages, especially on the uh, gram in different places. It's been too much. We've got to focus on what we're doing, but I do hope that some of this information helps. God, it's so funny. It's funny when you don't think you're properly prepared and then you over prepare, which I try to do at times. And boom, the dogs, they'll enjoy this right here. So we'll do some fun stuff showing you the dogs eating at the end. And this is what feeding time looks like. It is a, and it's an event every night. It is a, probably say, I could never do that for my dogs. One of my goals today, I said on my story, people, what's to do about 10 miles. It's 11.43, so let's check our apple. For one, that's what we did today. That's, that's how many calories were burnt. And then I said, you know what? I want to do 10 miles a day. So what does that say right there? 14 miles. You see that? That's 14 miles right there. And uh, if you look, that's three, three, two, and two because the watch will actually, before I did my last three miles, it said I went 10.89 miles. Technicality, I could have been like, you know, I did my I did my 10, the watch said I did 10, but I didn't do 10. So I had to go finish three miles to complete my 10 miles a day. And that's just to complete myself and push myself a little bit more. And that was challenging in itself. Last thing I'll add to this is one of the pre-press slash probiotics, and that's just some yogurt. I got some yogurt, that'll be the easiest way to do it. I was gonna open up a can of pumpkin, but I got these big old cans <laughs> and they don't need them. So I'm gonna add some puppy blocks still. This is what it looks like when it's brand new open. <laughs> it has a seal on it. Oh man. So this is, you know, when you put, you, you start 
learning what you're learning and you try to do right by your dog, I'll tell you one thing. It is not, it's a privilege to say the least to uh, be able to offer them something that you created and so many people work say it works you know and I just say it works but we have over 60 people subscribed both adult and puppy puppies that are getting this product every month so shout out to all those people who use puppy blocks I gotta do it for I gotta open it just for the video just because if you're on our YouTube it's for Harris food you support what we're doing it's got your instructions on the side it'll tell you how much to give your dog and I'll be honest in saying, look, I don't, I don't play. I do use it. We've cleared out at least three containers. I think I used one of these whole things in four days when we had all the puppies here. Because I want what's best for the dog. So, guys, thank you for walking down this road and joining me for my feeding time. You hear the dogs. They're ready to enjoy feeding time. I fasted them last night, so they charged up. No drink. Stay tuned, people. We're going to show you them my choo-choo in here in a second. Look at this right here. Look at this right here. Back up. <laughs> Damn, that's not playing. Look at that right there. Keep looking. I'm just not so good. 